Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Pop Art Hunter channel. And today we're going to be taking a look at a couple books about alternative movie poster art. Uh, these are some really cool books because they have um, some classic movie posters and films that you love. But the poster art themselves is not the ones that you've seen hanging up in the movie theaters or that you might have in your home. And there's some really cool uh, stylized pieces and some unique takes on some of the classic films that you might love. So we're going to go ahead and flutter through some of this stuff and let's get started. As always, we're never going to go through every page of these books that we review because you know, I think it's a, a little tedious. It has a little bit of a spoiler effect, etc. But we are going to look at these two books. You got the alternate movie posters and the alternate movie posters to more film art from the underground. Uh, and so we're just going to go ahead and flip through some of these and show you some of these alternative uh, movie poster art. I, I, I like them. Uh, you know, the cover here, uh, this taxi driver, not really my favorite movie um, at all. Not even close. Uh, and then we got uh, Pee Wee's Big Adventure, which was a movie I watched as a kid. I'm not going to say it was a good movie, but it was a movie as a kid that I <laughs> watched over and over. But those are uh, the, a couple examples of these like weird kind of alternative options uh, for movie posters. And I say weird because the styles are, are a little bit different, um, but weird is good. Um, so we're just going to go ahead and flip through uh, some of these and show you. Um, oh, these books are... You've got that, that new feel. I haven't really cracked these open and, and look uh, much of them. So I'm going to kind of flip through and see if there's anything that I recognize. Eh, okay, so here's actually a uh, pretty interesting... Uh, I don't know what is... Prist I don't know what this is, but it looks like uh, John C. Riley and Will Ferrell. Uh, but I don't really know w w what movie that is. Behind the curtain for... Oh, so this was <laughs> for Step Brothers. <laughs> So that's a really weird poster. Uh, now, uh, uh, this one almost doesn't have anything to do with anything, in my opinion. It doesn't like look like it has anything to do with the movie. You wouldn't know it's that movie. This one, you can tell uh, that it's Beetlejuice. If you know anything about Beetlejuice, it has elements from the film there. Uh, but a very different style. Uh, just not like anything uh, you would normally see. I'm going to skip over being John Malkovich because I think it's one of the worst movies ever produced um if you disagree with me comment below um and i will immediately reply in disdain i'm trying to find some movies that i will uh i know here oh i like that you know i never um uh, i i think i saw i saw wet hot american summer in as a as a background show um and i saw it just as you know something i, I was watching in the background wasn't really paying that close attention thought it was semi-humorous but i like this it's kind of done in an old style like a poster you would see um, you know, advertising this camp or this event that was happening kind of in the woods. It's got the edges and paperware and stuff like that. It's got that vintage feel to it. Uh, so again, if, if you wanted a poster from this movie, this would be something unlike anything else you would have for, um, for display. And, and I like that. We got Robocop, Commando, <laughs> Conquest for the Planet of the Apes. <laughs> this monkey just is a a janitor monkey. That's just, I don't. I don't know why I think this. Uh, uh, some of these are just hilarious. So I think I'm more traditional. Um, Terminator 2, Tron. Um, these will look a little bit more like uh, movie posters you would find in the theater, but just a different design, different concept. Uh, you know, almost like an unused thing. Um, <laughs> oh, I like this. Uh, so you got the Anchorman comic book, the Channel Four comic book. News team assemble. Uh, so yeah, if you if you if you're like I like Anchorman, I like comic books. This serves that need. And it becomes just a really cool piece for you. Um, so some of these are, I think, niche and um, you know for certain people that like certain things, uh, but can really pull a collection together. You know, I I have that uh, J. Campbell, J. Scott Campbell, Austin Powers comic book. Uh, cover piece uh, just out of a, a magazine something you know you could cut this out of here and frame it if you wanted to um, but uh, you know that for me that was a piece that was just so specific I collect J. Scott Campbell I have some Austin Power stuff and it just met those needs and so this is something that can meet the needs for somebody else and the other thing about this book it um gives you more details so it's got eh, the location of where it was produced uh if there's a site for the artist um it gives you like this one uh right here was done by a design uh, firm uh in the uk and it has the website them for them as well so it's something you could probably um call them and, and get an order or get rights to print a copy or something like that uh killer clowns from outer space i like this one too that's very colorful so if you like killer clowns that's a kind of unique design and this one almost seems like it fits killer clowns this one seems like it's outside of the scope because it's like an animated 
um, Evil Dead. Uh, I, I like the style of both. This just seems like, oh, yeah, that could have been a poster from that movie in the theater. Or is this one probably would have been an, uh, a very different style choice uh, for the movie in the theater. Okay. <laughs> just looking through to see anything I, I know offhand. The Help. Wow. So I also like these minimalist posters. So have you ever seen The Help? I, I believe The Help is a great movie. Um, and, and one of the things uh, about The Help that uh, was segregated bathroom use or being able to use the, the, the restrooms uh, from from the uh, the work staff versus the, the homeowners. And, and so just to have this very simplistic poster uh with the 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 typical traditional symbols you would see on the door the the female uh restroom um and then have that maid counterpart that, that's just again it's really cut and dry and simple but like, if you're a fan of this movie uh then i mean this is that's the poster you're gonna want to have like it's it, it's just it, it it's a piece of art in its own right and it, it has a lot of depth to it for what it's worth and it's very simple Simple font, a couple figures. Uh, I, I'm not saying it didn't take any work to produce it, but probably didn't take too much work um, to make that uh, as far as design purposes. Um, but yeah, just just really cool. <sighs> okay, well that's some from this book. Let's go ahead and uh, crack open the Movie Posters 2 book. See if we see anything in there that <clears throat> we like. Oh, so these have... Um, these have some of the older posters, uh, Attack of the Crab Monsters. I'm assuming that's a real movie. <laughs> Yeah, I think it's a it's one of those classic B movies. So, um, but it, it could be fake. You could have a, a you know attack of the crab monsters, and it couldn't even be real. And that would be a cool vintage style poster. Uh, a lot of times, these old posters, the fonts and the way that they choose to kind of skew um, and uh, the the fonts is just a very unique choice, and uh, I think it's pretty good. Okay, let's see here. Well, these are interesting. Here's another Beetlejuice one. It's a stained glass window. A Beetlejuice. Not really sure that it really fits. <laughs> like, like as far as an artistic style, like it, it, the, the if you like stained glass and you like Beetlejuice, this is the poster for you. But you know, I, I don't know that that one fits the that that style and aesthetic very much of the film specifically. It'd be different if this was like Sister Act. You know, it took place in a church and they have stained glass windows. <clears throat> Maybe I'm reading into it too much. Uh, Saving Private Ryan looks like it's done kind of in the style of Drew Struzan. Uh, you know, that sort of hand-painted, photorealistic uh, look there. So that one's kind of cool. Maybe paying homage to him. I don't, I don't think Drew Struzan did uh, that uh, poster for Saving Private Ryan. Um, so that's kind of paying homage to him a little bit there. <laughs> that, I, I don't know. This, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Stephen King's Cujo, uh, which is about a dog, and there's a bat. I think the dog got rabies from a, a bat, um, <laughs> but it just, I, I don't know, it, it feels a little off, or else this is, you know, changing what Cujo is. I, I don't really know. I don't I don't remember not much of, of, of Cujo, so, um, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we're just going to go on from that, because I'm not really sure. Oh, John Warner's Pink Flamingo. I uh, never saw it, never want to, but can appreciate uh, divine and 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 John Waters uh, finding himself so that he could produce better things like let's say hairspray. Not saying this isn't good. Definitely going to be uh, what do you call weird uh, in my opinion. Hmm. Day of the Dead. Oh, you know what? Here's the thing about this. I hate so many movies. <laughs> I also hate Fight Club, uh, but these posters are kind of cool as character pieces. Um, you know, got and 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 they're done as uh, sort of artistic style, very simple, very minimalist. Uh, looks almost like a, a watercolor. Uh, it's got paint and drips and such, which would be the blood. Uh, so it's really cool poster. So I can appreciate the art of the poster, even though I don't appreciate the the movie itself. Maybe. Um, <laughs> Oh, so this is a this is sort of like an in uh, like a propaganda poster that would have appeared in the movie Mars Attacks. Uh, that's kind of cool. Reminds me of almost like a Starship Troopers. Like, would you like to know more? And they'd have those little infomercials in between. Oh, let's go back for a second. Big Hero 6 was okay. I don't remember thinking it was my favorite movie, but um, this is kind of a cool poster in, in that, uh, you know, style. Um, you know, some of those Japanese anime characters uh, and ch cartoon characters. Uh, kind of this, you know, big bubbly sort of look. This almost looks like uh, the animation in Super Meat Boy uh, a little bit. 
a couple more. Okay. Suddenly. Oh, so this is from uh, Little Shop of Horrors. I, <laughs> for a moment, <laughs> for a moment I was like, oh, from Ghostbusters. It's the, uh, you know, Rick Moranis and then uh, uh, Annie Potts, I think, was the secretary character. I almost thought that was him for a second. I was like, was she blonde? That doesn't look like Annie Potts. Anyway, so, and then he also has kind of a Marty McFly jacket going on there. So for a second I was like, Rick Moranis wasn't in <laughs> Back to the Future. Uh, and I was a little shop of horrors. <laughs> okay, Let's see if we can find it. Oh, Django Unchained. Uh, I believe Django is a, a, a good movie. It's an interesting poster for it as well. Again, a very alternative style, which is what this is about. These posters are all, you know, taking your favorite movie and, and seeing it a different way. And, and if you get one of these pieces, very few few collectors are going to have these pieces displayed. And so even for the collector that comes in is like, I love blank movie and they walk into your home and they see this poster and they're like, where did you get that? What is that? And, you know, and, and again, even though it's not, you know, one of the original posters or something unreleased, it's still really cool. Uh, here it's Spaceballs. It's a, it's a fun design. <clears throat> yeah. So I can't, uh, I can't recommend these books uh, more. Um, if you get them, you can page through them individually, one page by one page, and you're going to find more posters than you ever thought possible uh and in cool unique styles and and just uh, i don't know they're they're, they're really superb i, I can't recommend uh, these books enough i have a few movie posters you know double-sided movie posters that were used in the theaters or teaser posters uh, maybe in a, my garage somewhere maybe a single-sided or something uh but you know, those have always been, for me, unless they're truly unique, unless there's something really special about it, or to a film that I really find endearing, um, those are okay collectibles for me. Alternative movie posters are something that I feel like is just the next step up. If you can find an artist that you really like, that you really appreciate, uh, and you find a poster that's just so cool, and it speaks to you, and you're like, I have to own this. If you hang that on your wall, it's going to get much more attention. It's going to get much more questions. It's going to get much more, what is that? This awe-inspiring um, kind of take on, on a movie because nobody's probably ever seen that version of the poster before. And it's going to be something exciting to them and something um, easier for you to talk about and explore with them and maybe get them into a type of movie poster art or collectible that they've never even considered. So alternative movie posters, I think, are really really cool and you know i think it's a really cool um type of collection to have and so i i, I think it's neat this is a way for me to have a lot of them because i don't have a lot of wall space and so i don't like to just shove things in the closet i like to have them displayed out in the open and so for me this is a way that i can have some alternative uh movie poster art without actually owning the alternative movie poster art or having to display it in a 36 by 48 format or something like that so hopefully you enjoyed this video uh thanks for watching check out all our other videos uh, like subscribe comment and all th those types of things engage with us and uh, uh, we'd be happy to engage back with you. Thanks for watching the Pop Art Hunter channel, and we will see you next time.